ventricular tachycardia versus supraventricular tachycardia. With aberrancy. Why to differentiate between the two rhythms? It changes the mode of treatment. SVT responds to AV nodal blocking agents, but it may precipitate hemodynamic compromise in VT. Let's see the ECG features that favors VT. In VT the QRS axis shows X-RIM axis deviation. That is vector of QRS is positive in lead AVR and negative in AVF and lead 1. In VT QRS complexes are very broad. There is AV disassociation, there is no relationship between P wave and QRS complex. In VT there may be fusion beats. It occurs when the activation of ventricle from SA node impulse coincide with the ventricular impulse, to produce a hybrid QRS complex. In VT there may be also capture beats. It momentarily occurs in AV disassociation, when the ventricle is activated by the SA nodal impulse. The distance between onset of QRS complex and nadir of S wave is more than 100 millisecond in VT. It is called Brugada's sign. Josephson's sign is notching near the nadir of the S wave. In VT precordial leads shows positive or negative concordance. In positive concordance, there are only R waves and in negative concordance there are only QS complexes. The most specific sign for VT is tall left rabbit ear in RSR complexes. In right bundle branch block, the right rabbit ear is tall.